This is Chris from Editor Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create blog tags in your Weebly site. Uh, now this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial, uh, of which I will post a link to in the description of this video. Okay, blog tags, what are they? Real quick, uh, so when a visitor um, is viewing um, your blog post, um, at the bottom of the blog post, uh, you will see uh, tags. And tags are uh, tags that tend to identify the content within a blog post. Um, and when a user clicks on a tag, um, they'll be shown a list of all the other blog posts on your blog that contain that same tag. All right, so here's how to install them in Weebly. Okay, so step one, we need to open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. All right, so to do that, we're going to go to a theme at the top. And on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. Okay. Step two, we need to add some HTML coding. So copy the HTML code here in the written tutorial. Now we'll head back to the Weebly editor. Now on the left under partials, click on blog. And on the bottom, click on post.tpl. Okay. Now on the right, we're going to locate the blog's main content area, which is right here and paste this HTML, HTML coding right below that. Okay. Step three, we need to add some CSS codes. Copy the CSS codes in the written tutorial. All right, and on the left under styles, click on main.less, or if you're using an older Weebly theme, I believe it's main underscore styles.css. Um, on the right, scroll down to your blog's coding. We're going to find it here with the search. Okay, here we go. And then just make some space for it and paste it in there. All right. Step four. We need to create a jQuery file. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to copy all the jQuery coding here in the written tutorial. All right, now on the left here, under assets, you're going to click the plus sign on the right, select new file, and uh, name this file tags.js, okay? And then click on the right to save that file name. Okay, and then on the right here, just remove any placeholders and then paste in the jQuery coding that you copied from the written tutorial. Okay. Step five, we need to add an HTML script tag. All right, so copy this uh, HTML script tag from the written tutorial here, back to the editor. Uh, on the left, all the way at the top under header type, Select the first page layout on your in your theme, and on the right, scroll all the way to the bottom, and right beneath the HTML script tag that contains custom.js, give yourself some space and paste in the HTML script tag that you copied from the written tutorial. Um, and repeat this step for every other page layout that your Weebly theme has. Okay, so I only have two here. Now, I believe that's it. All right. So click save. Publish that. Okay. So let's go to our blog. And let's click on the blog post. Scroll to the bottom. And here we go. You can see our blog text appear right, uh, right beneath the blog's content area. And when you click on one, we'll click on community, you should see all the blog posts that have been designated with the community uh, blog tag. All right, guys. So I hope you found this tutorial to be useful um, and I will see you in the next one.